We're here at Hollywood Rocks for Haiti in Los Angeles and um, we're gonna see what artists are gonna come tonight and donate their time and their cool music to the good cause. It's all for Haiti and the children uh, in Haiti. So uh, rock with us. I played back cockpit. Yeah, and we, um, you know what? Linda contacted me about 12 days ago and said, you know what? Me and my band, we want to do something. Will you help? And I said, hell yeah. Yeah. We put it all together. I mean, basically, a few days after we found out about everything that happened in Haiti, um, I decided that it'd be a good idea to put on a benefit and called Leah right away and wanted to get her involved. And the Dragonfly has been awesome, and since yeah. then, everybody's just been so great. So how long have you uh, known each other? We've known each other for a couple years, of years yeah. but the interesting thing is, is that we both grew up in Philadelphia. We both went to the college. We went to the same college. We both went to Catholic schools as little girls. And we both remember <laughs> raising money for UNICEF as little girls. So we, we really have been just amazed at the outpouring of support. Like our sponsors are amazing. And the lineup website. tonight is awesome oh, too. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, Jason Miller from Godhead, The Knives, Cockpit, Black Robot, and then we're going to have an all-star jam afterwards. We have an all-star jam band, and we really aren't sure who's actually yeah, going to play. That's, the, that's kind of the fun of the all-star jam. You never really know what's going to happen. <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, I'm friends with both of the organizers. Uh, actually, Linda Liu from Cockpit, her boyfriend plays drums for Godhead, and uh, and uh, Leah Cavalli and I uh, are fellow voice actor okay. friends from that community. Great. And um, you released your solo EP uh, last October? Yeah, in October, yeah. And uh, are you going on tour, or what are you uh, doing with it? I, I may tour later this year. Uh, we're working that out right now, and then I'm actually going to Nashville next week to record some additional material. So I'm either recording or playing or touring. I'm always on. Okay. But you're still working with Godhead too, right? Yeah, I'm still working with Godhead too. We're writing a new album. Right now. <laughs> no, because they're gonna make me go Wednesday night. I think it's gonna be awesome. Great. A lot of fun. Perfect. And it's a great cause. I'm here to help out my friend uh, Leah and help out folks in Haiti and. Hope we raise some money and take care of some people. Hi, I'm Debbie Monroe and I'm a voice talent primarily and a voice coach. There's uh, websites and stuff out there that are catered just to the voice talent to those who are beginning. My site myself is uh, at debsvoice.com, D-E-B-S-V-O-I-C.com. And I have a just a plethora of information on there for anyone who wants to get started. My name's Eric, DJ Eric Ill. I spin all over the Sunset Strip. Anywhere from the uh, Key Club all the way to the House of Blues. I'm a rock DJ, and um, you know I also produce my own beats, and I do uh, you know some rock music and electronic dance music for my own production. What brought you here tonight? What, why? Uh, why you... Leah and Linda Lou contacted me. They thought it'd be uh, you know cool to have a rock DJ up here from the Sunset Strip. So here I am. Hi, my name is Jacob Modsinger. Uh, I'm an actor out here in LA. Um, I've been out here for about three years now. Uh, a couple things that I have coming up. I have a uh, short film that's in post-production. It's called Nowhere Road. A feature film that's in post-production that's called Beyond the Mat. I'm in pre-production right now, something called Taken for Granted. We have a lot of uh, starting actors looking at our show. Any advice for them? What they could do or how to get out there? Uh, yeah, I would I really recommend a book called Self-Management for Actors. It's it's, called, it's by Bonnie Gillespie, she's a casting director out here. Um, I would say, you know, don't get distracted by everything. Make sure that you have a steady job that will provide money so that you can actually do what you want to do, which is to make it out here. So the way that I ended up being here is because, like I say, the name, the whole rock and roll psyche came about, again, not because I was a rock and roll anything, but because I spent a lot of my time talking to musicians. You know, they're kind of a kind of their own tribe, right? So when you talk to one, you talk to two, you talk to ten, you talk to a whole bunch, and it's, you know, like I said, they have their own kind of vibe, their own kind of energy. Do you read energy? Or do what you I do is I look at people's 
like a, what is called the etheric body. So when you look at somebody, they have an energy around them. You hear like people talk about the auras. There's another thing, I don't know if you all have heard this term called chakras. Chakra is a Sanskrit word for wheel. There are seven primary energy centers in a body. So you look at them like as a metaphor. One of the things I do is work as uh, what's called a remote viewer, which means you try to image things that are someplace else. So I mean, you know, you do that for like a uh, like missing persons cases and things like that. Especially I did that more, not so much lately, but back in the 80s and 90s, I did it more. I mean, the main thing I think is that if you understand where you're coming from, I mean, if you really understand your motivation, then you're going to be able to make decisions. Most people, I mean, when you really get down to it, most people are, are, are working on something that somebody's told them. You know, Aunt Petunia said this when I was three, or my uncle Bobby said this, or my mom said, don't do that, and my third grade teacher said this. You have these things, right? You have these images in your head. You have this storyline. It may have nothing to do with you. It's like the, you know, a family. Everybody in the family is a dentist, but the dude wants to be a surfer. Well, he's got an issue. You know, I mean, he's a conflict. So, so part of it is to try to integrate those desires, what's true to you, and make decisions. And when you're in sync with that, I think your decisions are, are, are easier. Three, two, one.